Okay, Mitchell. Yep. Seb, so you just said that this was one of your better ball striking rounds this year. What, what kind of made it that way? Yeah, I hit the driver incredibly well. I hit my driver well last week at Augusta. Uh, first round had a few loose ones, but after that it was uh, it was pretty pretty good. But it's hard to it's harder to gauge there whether you're driving it well. Here it's pretty easy. So if you uh, if you have a shot in the green, you're hitting a good you're hitting a good drive. So uh, yeah, I really just hit one loose one out there and I uh, was able to make par on that hole. And uh, yeah, the driver was was really nice. I asked this to Patrick Rogers. Does the, 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 the defined fairways here with the, where, the, where the trees are, does that heighten your focus a little bit when you're uh, on the tee? Yeah, for sure. Uh, definitely. I mean, it's it's crazy because every hole you got that really tight fairway. Uh, you really have to kind of pull off a shot and then you get to 18 and it's the widest fairway of the year. And uh, it's easy to kind of let one loose on 18. But, uh, but yeah, I definitely think it, it, it heightens your focus. It has to because uh, you really have to be precise about where you hit your tee ball. Do you feel like you've kind of recovered? From from Augusta, I mean, I mean like uh, physically and like uh, like mentally. Yeah, it took a little bit. Uh, even yesterday, I was, I was telling my caddy, I was really tired. Uh, you know, just the adrenaline, uh, the the high focus all day. Uh, the walk's not easy. It's just uh, it takes a lot out of you that week. And uh, I felt like I did a pretty good job the last uh, Monday through Wednesday, kind of just making sure I recover well and uh, ready to go for the day. Thanks, Seth. Thanks.